What up, gents? Today is the day we're gonna be trimming off the beard and the mustache. Now, if I can, I'm gonna be putting up a look that I wanna go for that I've always liked um, when I trim out my beard. We're gonna keep just a little longer the stash, but we're just gonna go probably about a four or a five all the way around. We're gonna pull out the cut buddy. We're gonna just get everything cleaned up. I'm ready to start looking sharp, dressed man again. So we're gonna get out my clippers, my trimmers, my faders, and let's make this thing happen, all right? No tears, no crying on this one. They always can grow back, but I'm really excited. I want something new. I'm ready for the change. Let's bust it out. Let's go! Well, we'll stop right there. There's a good fun spot to stop with. It just shows you how much the neck beard adds as thickness to the beard. But yeah, let's keep going. Well, I'm getting a little nervous because right now it's already pretty darn short. But it just shows you how good of a trimmer I am, right? So that just calls practice makes perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna go all the way, you guys. This is pretty crazy, but that's how it's gotta go. Right. go. Start getting hairs all over the place, man. Look at my eyes. So we're at a good stopping point right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start fading this in. I'm gonna fade this in. Then we're gonna do the hangman's noose. We're gonna fade up, clip, and then the mustache. Now this is definitely the awkward stage of the beard growth, right? You're in that moment of, it's so crazy and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> well, the mustache doesn't help, but good Lord, look how long the mustache is too, it just shows you. All right, let's uh, keep going. Okay, now we're gonna start going on the hangman's noose. I'll start right here. See how much, now we're gonna go on a little tips and tricks right here, but see how much the hangman's noose actually takes off the weight uh, of the look itself? Because if we keep going down when we have a shorter beard, uh, it really makes us kind of look a little fatter. So we don't wanna go too high on the jawline and we don't wanna go too far down on the neck, uh, exposing our neck beard. So unless our beard hair is going over the neck, let's keep that clean. But for right now, I'm going to stop. I'm actually gonna just fade this in and then we'll start attacking the soul patch and the mustache, okay? So let's get that guard back on. I'm at the highest guard at the moment. I'm at like a 20. Now let's keep it. Now I'm gonna stop right there. I wanna give you guys a great example why it is so important to know how to cut your own beard and facial hair. You don't wanna to go to a barber unwillingly, them not knowing how to cut a beard, uh, because through time and practice, uh, it really is so easy 
uh, for me at least, to trim and style my beard out because of consistent uh, trims and uh, cuts. Uh, if you have the proper tools, like I'm gonna pull out the cut buddy here and we're gonna get a nice line on the cheek. And it's gonna show you how far just some trims, some cuts, uh, and some proper ways of lining up is gonna make that big difference, especially when we're gonna put, uh, throw in some of our uh, gel. We're gonna fade up on the sideburns as well. We're gonna make everything uh, very uh, you know, equally matched on the length. So now we're gonna focus a little bit on the soul patch. We'll hit the mustache. We're just kinda going over the place, but let's keep it going. Now I'm gonna bring the soul patch just back a little bit. For me, I like to use my line on my chin as kind of a guide. So I'll lift up my lip a little bit and we'll follow that line. Woo, look how sharp that looks. I am so skilled. Now let's start going on the mustache. With the mustaches, you really have to kind of watch out because we have a different layers on our mustache that we have to really control. Because if I cut right here, then we're gonna have a really long top. And if I cut too short, I'm sorry, if I cut too short, then we're gonna have a really long bottom. So I kind of want to make everything even. So let's see how we can make this work for everybody. That looks really good. Sometimes the scissors don't work and you gotta pull out the clippers again because the clippers for me kind of give more of an even cut where the scissors, if you kind of mess around too much, you're gonna, you know, kind of eat it in the end. So I'm gonna hack out it a little bit of our air. There we go. Okay. And then now let's pull out the cut buddy and let's start lining up our cheeks. All right, take your cut buddy. I like the short round because I want to go around here. Short round, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Hold on your potato. Now we got some lines. So we're pretty much all lined up. The last thing I wanna do is we're gonna start fading the beard into the hair. So the last thing we're gonna get again is the clippers. So we're gonna go down, I think, to about half the distance and we'll start working up. Okay.
Woo, we're starting to look really good now. Now we're looking really good. Let's keep fading, we're almost done. I think I'm done. So, not too bad, but I feel rejuvenated. So, <laughs> I like it. Don't don't trip, man. I, I love this. I'm so happy I did this. So happy. I thought about it for two days, and I have no regrets. I'm just happy I did it. I'm happy I can see my face again. I'm happy, I'm happy I can see my lips again, my teeth. I forget what my teeth look like. All right, now that I'm on cut mode, I might as well do the hair. Let's stick it to 10. My barber's gonna kill me. Man, I miss cutting my own hair. Cause I miss how good of a job I do. Good Lord, man. I should have done this a long time ago. I look good. Look at that, man. All right, I'm going to sharpen everything up. I'm going to clean up the line, and we're good to go, baby. All right, I think we did it, guys. We did a great job on the top, the sides, the beard. We got a nice noose going on on the bottom. So we're gonna finish everything off. I'm gonna hop in the shower, we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna dress up the hair, get a nice you know, pair of clothes. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, I'm out of the shower. I actually did a little bit of a shave on the neck. I used RDS Man's shaving cream and aftershave. Works very well. I actually like it better uh, than your original Gillette. Uh, to me, it's more of a lotion, and it really helps the skin because I have that sensitive skin. But I think I did a phenomenal job. I'm gonna give myself doo -doo, uh, of a good job. My hair is kicking. I'm actually gonna go for a new style. Looking pretty good. I think I did a good job. The last thing I want to do is put in a little bit of mustache wax and put a little bit of product, and then we'll get a final outro. <laughs> Ooh, that long hair. I'm digging this look, you guys. All right, so we're gonna put in some uh, mustache wax from Artius Man. My cat's drinking the water over there. And then see how I got that handlebar style. You gots to have the handlebar. And then we'll get some pomade. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it like I was talking about. I wanna just give it some volume, just kinda let it go for the day, see where it wants to go. Cause 
I'm feeling up at the beat today. I'm feeling good. I'm happy and a good day. I'm happy I did this because I've been waiting forever to do it and it's just about time. Look at that, man. Good Lord. Dude. The one thing I'm happy about, and this is big key, is the handlebar. I think this is what separates me from the real men is this handlebar right here. And I give absolute all glory to my mustache right there. And if you think that you can't do this, you can. Because if I can do it, you can do it. It just takes time, repetition, and consistency. And I am just the happiest man right now. I feel like I just want the lottery because sometimes a new look just means a new you. I feel refreshed, I feel happy. We still got two months until November, so don't even trip. I still have a beard, I still have a mustache, but you know what, it just was time, you guys. It was absolute time. So don't get upset. I know you guys are out there like, what'd you do? But I'm happy I did it. Sometimes you just be, need a big change in your life, and this was my big change. Nothing crazy has happened in my life. I just, I just needed a change up in the beard, and that was it. So enough ranting, you guys. Stay cool, stay bearded. I love you guys like always. Follow me on all that social media. Have a great day. I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya!